that I don't like whenever I need to look through some of them and decrypt something a shard or something like that I'll be easy it'll be easier to find it doing this basically I mean I've already read it though haven't I ah shit was it this one we just got no I probably shouldn't have read that Yeah, whatever. No big deal. We'll find it eventually. The, uh... weird the little speedometer things fucked up because it's showing me the rpms on top of what my actual speed is i think now now if we go back to the camera thing is it going to be fixed It's all fucked up. Oh well. You want your teeth broke? Uh -oh. oh, I've committed a crime. Teleport 20 fucking cops after me, right? Like, that's one of the things that really needs to get fixed above all. The fact that you commit a crime and immediately after committing said crime, police officers teleport behind you. And the thing is, you are, like, they keep teleporting if you try and fight them, so you'll, you'll, like, never win. But if you literally go around the fucking corner, they forget all about you. It's, it's a little ridiculous. I kind of wish they had, a, like, they actually had the bounty system they were talking about having. Because... I'd be really curious as to what certain police officers would do. That raises many questions. That was a good haul. Well, at least it wasn't two or three of them. So why is it saying combat in this area? Oh, I know why. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. At some point, if you come into this place and, uh... Talk to dude. It actually does a little bit of a side mission where this place gets robbed while you're trying to order something and you can... Like, you can deal with it however you want, but apparently it's a little glitched out to where it will always consider you being in combat in this area, maybe. I don't know. It's really not that big of an issue. Wow, we have $100,000. How the hell do we have $100,000? What the hell did I do? As much as I want to buy the alcohol... Eh, but we'll, we'll save up on the alcohol, or we'll go without the alcohol, I should say. Yeah, this is, it's a little messed up, it looks like. Hold on, what if I, what if I get my gun out? Shoot it. No, they're all fucking, anything. they're all glitched out. Alright, never mind on that then. Where's my motorcycle? Oh, that's a lot farther than I anticipated. Whatever. It's taking me a second to refresh my memory on what exactly the main story of this game is. 
kind of the, I, that stuff like that I absolutely love about games like this. Damn it, my okay. My right analog stick is like a little messed up to where I, my hand's not on the controller right now, but like you'll notice sometimes that my I'm doing this right now that my thing will do that, my camera will do that. That's because now for whatever reason my right analog stick is a little bit stuck pushed forward and that right there is a sign that it's only got so much longer to go before it's doing it automatically and there's nothing I can do to stop it I'll have to constantly be pushing down before the control is that messed up like right now I'm not doing that it's doing it automatically right so was I literally just over here I literally just over here. No, this is a new shop. I have no reason to live. Great. It's on the menu. You got eyes, don't you? You don't have any alcohol. You just sell hydration stuff. That's perfect. The reason I'm buying all the hydration stuff, if you don't know, uh... No matter what, you can buy and sell it for 10, right? 10 uh, eddies. However, if you break it down, it gives you... What is it? It gives you... Why? Now, why is the... Okay, that's weird. Whatever. Where was I? Okay, yeah, if you break them down... They give you 6 common, 3 uncommon, and... The fact that they cost 10 means you're getting a profit of 44 if you sell the six components and the three, like the six common and the three uncommon, you get a profit of 44 per hydration drink. Hell, even if you buy alcohol, you're still getting a profit of 24, but still, it probably is better to get the technical ability maxed out. Speaking of maxing out your technical ability, we should do that right now. Wrong button. We now have 20 technical ability. We need... We need 20 in level crafting. There's actually a glitch you can utilize to get maximum, like, unlimited experience. Let me see if the glitch still works. Inventory. No, no, no. We want to go to backpack. We go to consumables. Which drink do we have the most of right now? 337, does that say? Uh, let's make sure that's the maximum we have. 500 right here. We'll do that one. So, in order to utilize this glitch, you use it. You look away from it, and you see how we'll no longer get components from that. Right? We'll no longer get components from that. However, we'll still get the experience from it. Watch. when It, it will show us getting the experience. As soon as it's done. I, I want to make sure that it's working like that because I kind of want to make this into a video as well. Yeah, right there. 2,000 experience from that. And I think it works the entire time. So, like, we have nine minutes we could do that for. And no matter what, it'll continue to work. I think it continues to work until you literally leave out of the fucking game. Yeah, it'll continue to work until you exit the game. Or until the uh, timer's empty. I'm not gonna do this fully because I wanna I wanna show this exploit off in a in a video of sorts. Yep. All right, so that exploit still works. Good to know. I wonder if they'll fix. They'll probably fix it. But who knows, it could be one of those exploits that they just overlook forever and always. And so far, that's the only one that i found, and it only works with crafting experience, so... I, I don't think there's one for weapons, I don't think there's one for... That is a... Hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a Ripper Dock. I don't think that's a Ripper Dock we've ever been to, so I want to check him out. Or them out, I should say, because I don't know which one it is we have a hundred thousand dollars to spend let's 
Let's get ready to spend it, yeah? How, how may I help you? I'm looking for some new clothes. Yeah, I've never been to this Ripper Doc. Get comfortable and we'll get to it. Oh, those are things we already own. Circulatory systems. Restore stamina when you defeat an enemy. Increases breach time. That doesn't really work. Hilariously enough, this right here, the blood pump. I haven't seen it work yet. Apparently, I already own those blood pumps. This is what we want. We need... 10 body. Okay, that's not too hard to get. Immune system. Eh, hey, might as well. Hey, full body conversion. Neat. Uh, what do we need for these? Eight reflexes. We really need to work on reflexes. All right. Legs, we already got. I know what he has. Uh, doesn't have what we need there. Hands? What about hands? Eh. Skeletal system? Not really. And I don't think we're going to switch this out. Berserk. I mean... If we wanted to get Berserk, we could. But this has 10 base RAM, 8 buffer, and 6 slots. That's the best one I've seen so far, and it's probably going to be the best one we have. Pretty young looking for a ripper. Is that a problem? Depends. Not if your experience doesn't match your years. I worked 10 years in an R&D lab at Moore Technologies. I hope that eases your nerves. Mind if I ask why you left? I got a feeling Moore Tech doesn't skimp out on its engineers. Sure, the pay was good. But I couldn't sleep. Moore, as you might know, specializes in deep tissue integration. Cutting in skulls, spine replacements. It's difficult work. It takes time before a new implant becomes viable. Its implementation repeatable. Time. And lives. Oh, that's fucked. Alright. Hey! Uh, Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. It matters... Sure. Okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. So this is definitely not exactly what I anticipated. But I'm all for it, man. I am I am all for this rabbit hole and how far it takes us. In all honesty. Could take care of these asshats. Hello. Man, that light fucked me up. Real mad. Reloading all on a minute. can't really do much when I have a weapon that does just fucking dredge through any armor or not armor, uh, cover you possibly have. The only chance to survive was probably run.
How far away are we from the chapel? Uh, not very far. Honestly. We already shop at that place, so we're good to go there. Probably hit our heels. We're almost at 400 health, so that's going to be pretty awesome when we do get there. farther than I anticipated, but whatever. So if we do that, if we double up the damage that we're doing with our grenades, that are probably one shot more people like that that are high level. I mean, it was close enough to one shotting them now, but not that big of a deal. Basically, the amount of profit we're getting is... A shit ton. The hell is that? saw me through the fucking wall. blinded the hell out of me. he saw me like through the cover that I was behind but we have a weapon that shoots through cover so I guess I'll just let that one pass for now it's kind of funny because I'm starting to realize that these weapons also have a certain like A victim! Oh, okay, I'm glad they wouldn't allow me to actually pop the trigger on that one. He looked he looked very similar to the uh the others. They actually look a little bit more like they're deceased when they're not moving that well, like they're playing dead more often it feels. Uh, what are we doing? FF. D. 
CD. E9. Seven A. And yeah, we fucked it, I think. Actually, no, we didn't. Lucky us. I missed that one C there momentarily. Only that much money? That was not a lot at all. 141. Eh, it doesn't really matter when you break it down. These are animals. Like they're part of the animals gang, I bet. I can't mark them down. This actually kind of makes sense now that I'm looking at my surroundings and I see exercise equipment and all that jazz. Yeah, like, I can't do the quick math right there, but because we just got 12 cans, right? Uh, does the math, does it break down, like, since we're making a 44 profit, would you multiply the amount by 44, or no? Is that not how it works? Like, say if I had 500 cans, right? It cost me $5,000 to buy all those cans. If I disassemble all those cans and then sell the components from them, am I I'm making a $44 profit, which all in all I'm making $55 after spending the 10. So it would be 500 multiplied by 55 then. So 5,000 multiplied by 44 would be the same thing, yeah? I actually wish we had an in-game calculator right now. Holy shit, I'm just realizing they should add that. They should add an in-game calculator. Now here's my question. We're, we're done with uh, the timer. So does that mean... No, it's still messed up. All right. Hold on, I got an idea. Greetings and good day. How are you all today? So, another thing just came to me as I was messing around. There's a little bit of an exploit you could utilize currently. Uh, they'll probably fix it in the future, but for the time being, as of patch 1.05, you can utilize this to your advantage for crafting, right? So, say you're like me, and you've completely maxed out your crafting ability like technical ability and you want to get this perk right here but you need the 20 the level 20 in crafting to unlock it well here's the easy way that i could get the rest of my crafting skill without actually disassembling anything you have to go to your inventory go to your backpack go to consumable go to a hydration item uh, like this right here see how it will say that i'll be getting if i decraft it or disassemble it i'll be getting eight common components and three uncommon or six or whatever well if i press x to use that item it takes away the components that i'll get right and then i hold and it doesn't like 